another language. Look no feather. I'm here to show you how to use Duolingo for schools. I'm Madame Sensei. I teach Spanish, French, and Japanese to high school students, and I teach English as a second language to uh, adults in the community. In today's video, I'm going to show you where everything is located for your students in Duolingo. So this is the landing page of Duolingo. Have your students bookmark this, and that way they don't have to log in every single time. This main thing right here, all these skills, this is called the tree. And there's a lot of skills on the tree. And after each set of skills, I'll come back to that. After each set of skills, there's a castle and the castle is a checkpoint. The skills for your students are gonna be gray initially until they do it, all right? Actually, let me switch really quick to a language that I haven't finish the tree and you could get some idea. All right, so this is Chinese for speakers of Japanese. I haven't finished this tree yet. Everything starts off gray. Unfortunately, I've already done everything to the blue level. When you're done, you get the little owl trophy at the end. And then as you unlock skills, that gray turns purple. In a later video, I'll show you how to specifically unlock skills that your students haven't gotten to yet. Uh, but for right now, know that your, your students are going to start with a completely gray tree. And then as they do the skills, first of all, they'll be purple when they're unlocked. Then they'll turn blue. And you see as you're working your way around the skill, this gold bar, this gold circle around the skill will, will uh, fill in. Okay. And then after blue, it turns green. After green, it turns red. After red, it turns orange. And then it turns golden. And if you haven't visited a skill in a while, it will crack like an egg cracks. And this is just spaced repetition, trying to get you to go back and look at those skills again. Okay, let me go back to uh, a skill with English on it because I'm assuming that most of you are English speakers. All right, so look at the top bar right here, okay? We've got, we're on learn right now. This is the tree. It's a tree because we've got an owl, right? Um, if you're lucky enough to have a language that you're teaching that has stories associated with it, there's a button right here for stories. Stories are being rolled out to other languages right now. At the moment, they're only available to Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, Chinese to English. Uh, but I will, in a later video, look more in depth at stories because we have a lot of supports for you created for stories by uh, enthusiastic users and also by other educators. All right, here's the discuss button. This is the Duolingo forum. This is where users connect with each other and say, hey, I don't understand this grammatical piece here. Can someone explain it? And either educators or knowledgeable users will chime in. Uh, it's just a way to discuss the language that you're studying. Okay, then we have the shop. Um, students will earn uh, not only experience points, XP, but they will also earn lingots that they can spend in the shop, and I'll show you that in a minute. Then we've got this more button. There are events. Now, if you're teaching high school and lower, you probably don't want to encourage your students to go on their own to events, but I think as a whole class thing, it could be very fun uh, at the moment because of our quarantine times. Um, all the events are virtual. So that would be a fun thing to go to. There are podcasts in French and Spanish at the moment and other podcasts rolling out. Uh, a dictionary, of course, and words. All right. The shop will have a couple of things. There's a weekend amulet. If your students are interested in a streak freeze, I'll explain that in a moment. Streak freeze. Oh, look, I haven't equipped my double for nothing. Let's go ahead and equip that. Okay. Time to practice. Uh, it has some, uh, they're, they're working on a new version of time practice right now. That's fun. And then there are some bonus skills, which I absolutely love. And I've got idioms and proverbs equipped. And around Christmas time, there'll be a Christmas skill. All right. So let's go back to learn so you can look at that. And I will show you right here, idioms is enabled. 
Okay, down in the lower left, we have a barbell. If I want to, I can just click on the barbell and it will just select um, lessons I haven't looked at in a long time. And it's just like to strengthen my practice. All right, you'll want to show your students the right hand. Oh, well, first of all, sorry. Up here, let's continue the top bar. We've got a flag representing the language that you're learning. Crowns, um, these are skill levels. This is your streak. Um, your streak is how many days in a row you have done it without missing a day. In my case, it's how many days in a row I've done it without a power outage. And the amount of lingots that you earn, which is just the little bonus things that you can spend in the shop. And here's your avatar. And um, in a later episode, I will show you uh, where your students need to click to join your classroom. Okay. All right. Here on this right hand side, is the leagues. I tell my students to ignore the leagues because leagues are for people who get super competitive and who want to spend two hours a day on Duolingo. I don't want my students for two hours a day on Duolingo. I want slow and steady wins the race. So personally, I tell my students to ignore that. Then we've got your daily progress that tells you how many XP points you've been earning in a day. You can see here, I did a bunch of Duolingo stories because they've just released a bunch of new ones. So I spent a lot of time that day. Then your students are going to see their assignments. Okay, this is, I'm going to show you in a later video how to give assignments to your students and they're going to show up here. Underneath that, we have badges that your students earn. There's lots of different things that, you know, they get rewarded. These are like little stickers that, that they get rewarded with. Let's go back to learn so I can show you that view again. Um, then they can follow their friends in class. Uh, I follow my students, of course. Now, the very next video I'm going to show you, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom right here where it says schools. That will be our next video. So thank you very much for joining me. Post your questions about pedagogy and how to use Duolingo for schools right here. Click on that discuss button that we looked at. Make sure you're in the educators forum on the right hand side. Post your questions and I or some other very helpful person will answer them for you. And then I also want to make a plug for the Duolingo Educators Network. Once you click here in the educators forum, you'll see the sticky, what is the educator network? This is honestly the best professional learning community that I belong to. So click there, join up, and I hope to see you there. Thank you very much. It's the best way for you to learn another language.